Hi everyone, in this video we are going to look at the very useful and easy to use script templates. Now, in order to showcase that, I prepared a project in which I have a character which can collide with these few blocks here. Now, I might want to make this character move and yeah, I could write a script myself, but instead of writing a script for that, there is a script template that I can use. So for example, if I were to go to my character body and to add a script, here you can see that I have a few options which are built in. And the first option is the character body to the basic movement. Now, if I click create, you will see that I have created a script. Right now, if I press F5, you will see that as simple as that, my character is going to be able to move. Now, there are built-in scripts, but we can create our own scripts that we can use later on in our program. But if we want to create, there are a few locations in which we can add those. First of all, we can make a script be an editor level script, which basically means that no matter the project we are in, we will be able to access it in each project. On the other hand, we can create a script that is only project defined, which makes the script only available in that given project. Okay, now let's try to create our own script template for this current project. In order to do that, we are going to have to make a new folder here in our resources folder. And I'm going to click on create a new folder and we have to call it script templates. In here, we can define templates for any kind of node. And the structure that this follows is script templates, the node type and the actual name of the script. So I can go to script templates and create new folder and let's create one for sprite 2d so i'm gonna say sprite 2d and inside this sprite 2d i'm gonna create one file which is gonna be a script and let's call it anything we could call it uh flip d for example we might want a script which flips a sprite vertically why not now we created this script and we can go and edit it and let's say this extends sprite 2d and it has a ready function, which for some reason uh, sets the flip vertical of our sprite to be equal to true. Why not? And now, if I want to create a sprite, I can go to add child node, add the sprite to D, and here I can click on attach a new script. Now here, under template, you will see that I can select the flip v sprite to D which is project defined. If I select this one and click create, you will see that I have created a new script. This is not the previous one. I can, I can close this. This is the sprite 2 GD script, which has the exact same functionality as defined in the flip V script. And here, of course, I can add a bunch of other things and do whatever I want with it. And you can see that the script is here in my file system. And of course, if I go to my sprite 2D and attach some sprite to it, maybe drag it a little, you will see that I can run the project and the sprite is flipped vertically because I have added that script to it. Now, what if I wanted to make a script template that is available at the editor level? For that, I need to know where the editor settings are and I can click on editor and open editor data settings folder and in here, you'll see that I have a bunch of different settings and I can go to the familiar folder script templates. Now in this folder, we're going to follow the same process in order to create templates for a given node. So if we want to create a template for Sprite2D, I'm just going to make a new folder and call it Sprite2D. And in this new folder, I'm just going to create a new text document and let's call it maybe flip age for flip horizontal and make it a GD script. Yes, I'm gonna change the type. And finally, I can open it with an editor that I like, and I'm gonna choose VS Code. And here, I'm simply going to add the script that I want to have to flip the sprite horizontally. So for example, uh, extend a sprite to D. Okay, and now I'm gonna say func ready. And let's just say flip age equals to true. Okay, I have my script template. I got some errors here, but don't don't really mind them. It's it's fine. And now I can add a new sprite to D. 
I'm gonna click add child node, select the sprite to D. And in here, if I want to create a new script, you can see that I already have the option to select the flip age script. I click here, I click create, and you can see that the template of the script has been generated inside this new sprite 2D2 script. Now, of course, if I were to add, let's say a sprite to this and put it here, if I run it, you can see that it's flipped. Now, of course, these are very, very simple and limited uses of the script templates, but you could think of many other types of scripts which you could use in order to save a lot of time by not having to write them over and over again in each of your projects. Now, one last thing I want to show you is how to customize these templates in the editor. If you remember, when we create a new template, let me just create a sprite to D. Okay, when we create a new template, we see here the sprite to D, flip V, sprite to D, flip age, and whatever. But what we can do is to change this information. So, for example, I could be using at the top of my script template. Let's go to flip V, for example. I could be using some meta information. Let's just say, for example, hashtag meta name and we can write here a special component. Now, if I save this, you will see that if I want to add a script, this is no longer flip V, which was the name automatically generated from the flip V name of the GD script. It's going to be special component. And there are a few more meta informations that we can add. So for example, we can also add meta description and let's just say this does something fancy. We can also say meta default. True. This is going to simply set the default of a sprite to D to this template. So instead of having it as usual set to the node default, it is going to be set to special component. And finally, we can say meta space intent and set it to four or whatever. This is basically going to say how much is going a tab to be. So it's going to be four spaces, two spaces or so on. So now if we save, you can see that I can add a new script. By default, the special component is selected. So no longer the node default. And additionally, you see here that I have a, a small description, which is special component. This does something fancy, exactly the same as I wrote here. And if I click create, you will see that this is four spaces. And if I tab, it's four spaces again. Now, I hope this has been useful and I hope to see what kind of templates you can come up with. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.